Hey guys, Mars Freemans here. In the last few years, Rococo team has made mockuping more affordable. And I'm not talking about only like money-wise with their indie bundles and all that, but I think also more affordable for people like me who are not animators. They've been constantly updating the Rococo studio to kind of like bring tools in that to save your time and for people who don't have like, you know, so much animation experience, so you can just record your mocap and just deliver to let's say unreal engine for your movies and video games and recently they released new preview of their upcoming rococo studio so the new version is coming up the new preview consists of two cool new features so the first one is the smoothing so they basically can rework their whole back end how the mocap is being processed in the rococo studio so now you have kind of like new way to smooth out any jittering so for example if you have like office you know not everybody has empty office if you have office like mine where you know i have a closet of metal and all that so all these metal things usually kind of interfere depending from the mockup sometimes it doesn't sometimes it do more complicated mockups usually there is some kind of jittering and the new smoothing option helps you to eliminate that so you don't need to like sit afterwards in a blender or stuff like that and kind of like smooth out and fix those keyframes. Uh, now you're going to be able to do it in a uh, studio. And the second thing is one of the big headaches in, at least for me, in recording or making mocaps uh, in the suit is loops. So if you want to have some kind of animation again for video games and movies, mostly it's like for video games, I think in Unreal, so like, you know, your hatch, using your hatchet or pickaxing or just walking cycles, you're gonna be able to do it right away in the studio. So after that, you can just export or stream uh, your mockup to your target platform. So yeah, so we're gonna take a look at that. So the first thing when we are starting in Rococo, you're gonna need to start in the old studio, like the old studio, not in the preview because currently the previous studio doesn't support recording. So basically you would record mockup in Rococo Studio. Uh, at this time of the recording, the most important kind of like thing is um, you need to use legacy recording. So you need to record your your mockup in the legacy. So uh, without the new smoothings that's inside currently in Rococo Studio, uh, I'm pretty sure that soon enough the all the cool bells and whistles are going to be supported and you're going to be able to use it in the preview but currently if you're not gonna use legacy you're going to be stuck into the you know downloading from the cloud and all that stuff so so you would just record your mockup as you would normally do in rococo studio so once you're kind of like done with your mockup you know i recorded a few i just recorded some walk cycle and you know jumping and and just some handshake stuff now what do you need to do is you just close the Rococo Studio. So basically kind of like your mockups, all that go into Rococo Cloud, and then we can open up the preview. And as we can see in the preview interface, currently it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, here, the, the project, the pro my, my scene project name is called Legacy. So I just kind of like rename so I know that, you know, my legacy mockup should be there. And then we can just double click it to open it up and we can see it's loading in. And again, this, this is the window. Like if you don't use legacy, at least this time as I'm recording it, it's going to get stuck here. So once the loading is done, we can see on the left side, my, my mockups are there. So let's open up the walking and so we can see our walk cycle. And now if you look at down at the timeline, we have a main timeline. So that's going to be our mockup timeline. And then we have two extra timelines. That's are these two features that I talk about. One is responsible for smoothing and one's going to be responsible for looping. So let's start with the smoothing. So smoothing is very easy. We just click, click the button, and then we can just drag that thing and kind of you can find because for example, if you recorded longer than you expect, than you need, you know, for example, me clicking my mouse, stepping away, I don't need that part. And then you can just kind of drag that thing and 
and just put the parts that you want to smooth. And on the right side down, you can see there's a smoothing strength by default at seven. You can put like lower, for example, if you kind of like feel like, you know, your, your movements are getting more stiffer. So you can like lower it to five, for example, or three. And if you put all the way to the other side, we can see kind of it, it breaks, it breaks the, it's kind of like, you no know, breaks the movement. So this is, this is kind of pretty cool and we can test it out. Like, you know, we can compare, um, we can compare the results. The smoothing, smoothing one looks a tiny bit better. Again, this is very simple mocap uh, with more complicated ones. Probably you can smooth that, see that smoothing way better. So, and the next step is now we can do the looping. So if you click at the loop, again, we have kind of like that trim timeline thing. And we can drag it and we're going to try to find where we want to start. So I'm going to start, I want to start at like my, let's say my, my left leg is, you know, you want to kind of like loop, basically start and end with the same pose. So I'm going to start with one leg in the front and I'm going to want to end my loop with the same one. So I just kind of like going to drag that thing to try to find where um, I want to want to end. You know, we need to enable the magic magic looping feature so and we also can see that we can have um if we apply the magic loop we can see we have option for closed loop so lock axis uh it's just locks direction so so it's just gonna lock the axis of the movement closest to direction it's moving and we also can start from the region so we are the zero zero. So in case if your mocap kind of like drifted a bit, because I started my mocap technically at the computer. So this would be zero zero. Then I walked back to record there. So I'm kind of like off the center. So if I start from the region, then we are locking into zero zero and we can, for example, use it for Unreal Engine. And then we have a transition time and transition time is like really kind of like for me, I just feel it like a smoothing, you know, if I feel like in that transition, there's like, you know, still small jump. Actually, the body worked out pretty well. The only only kind of like issue we had with a bit the head, the head was a bit jittering. Actually, the body looped right away perfectly. I got a smith, small jitter with the head, but if I kind of like increase that transition time, then it fix up the head and all that good stuff. And we can see actually super easy. And in case if you need, like, you know, kind of you still see some jitter, you can move again that timeline thing and it's going to fix up. Pretty easy. Look at that. No need to bring it out in a blender or whatever and fix it and all that. It's it's perfect loop. And we can do the same thing, for example, repeat the process for we can repeat the same process for jumping and any other animation. Just in, in two minutes, basically, I have ready mocap that I can use for my game. Just go walk there back, put it in the studio, just apply smoothing and loop thing, and, and it's ready. And what do you and to export? There's if you want to export the whole animation without the loop, then you need to click this up button to, to export, but for exporting as the tooltip says to export the loop you need to go down to the loop make a right click and click export so we can choose fbx format and then if there's different kind of skeletons i don't see the unreal engine money there i really rococo please i hope i hope we can have support for unreal engine so we don't need to do some kind of retargeting and all that stuff currently we can see it's mixamo human i can default default it probably is just uh, the Rococo character, so I kind of hope we're gonna get see Unreal support for that. That would be absolutely great. But yeah, and now we can just bring these animations in Unreal Engine and look at that. We can compare. Uh, we can compare Rococo character with the Unreal Engine money, and animations look great. So I'm pretty stoked about this update because yeah, like, you know, you, in, in just a few moments, you can just get ready mocap for free video game. That's about it. Thanks for watching and then see you in the next one. Bye.